the chandelier and it crashed to the floor I can't believe it no wonder Rose asked you to leave I don't know what got into me sounds like you really goofed up just don't vandalize the next house you stay in okay especially if it's ours it's stuck it's so dark in here I can't see where I'm going. What the? What are you doing in there? What happened? Um, I got caught snooping around, and Rose asked me to leave. Oh no! Now you won't be able to solve the mystery. Better luck next time, I guess. That's too bad. And to think you could have saved the day. And helped out Rose. I know, I know. If only I had another chance. I'd be a lot more careful the next time around. Did Lizzie ever wear men's clothing? <laughs> I'm sure she played some roles where she had to dress as a man, but she was quite an elegant woman, quite fashionable for her time. Do you know what gumbo foo means? Where did you hear that? I came across it in a book. No doubt the book I have locked in my briefcase. I thought someone had been in there. I think I'll need to have a word with Rose about this. Nancy. I'm ashamed of you. Everyone in this house expects some degree of privacy, and you have obviously violated that trust. Your behavior is completely unacceptable. No arguments. I cannot stand to have someone so inconsiderate in my house. I've arranged for Abby to drop you off at the airport. I'm sorry it has to work out this way. Goodbye. I should return the spider so Abby doesn't suspect anything. Nancy? Get out of my room! Rose! Rose! Nancy, I'm ashamed of you. Everyone in this house expects some degree of privacy and you have obviously violated that trust. Your behavior is completely unacceptable. No arguments. I cannot stand to have someone so inconsiderate in my house. I've arranged for Abby to drop you off at the airport. I'm sorry it has to work out this way. Goodbye. It's locked. Fire! It's too late! It's stuck. Gold! And to think I was standing on it all along. <laughs> Too bad no one will ever find out about it. Lewis? I knew it! There must be over a million dollars in here! I've got to stop him before he gets away! So long, losers. And you 
you just let him get away? There was nothing I could do. I'm sure there was something you could have done to stop him. Well, you probably had to act fast and didn't have enough time. I guess this mystery's solved. Unfortunately, the bad guy got away. This time. I've got to stop him before he gets away. What? Hey! Hey, hey! Get me out of here! Dear Bess, I'm just about finished with my renovation work and counting out all of those gold coins. Louis was behind all of the accidents, hoping to pressure Rose into selling the house so he could find the treasure himself. Although Rose and Abby may not have a legal right to the gold, the bank the coins were stolen from will still give them a reward for finding it. The house also has gotten a lot of publicity with all of the news stories, and the place is booked solid for the first month of its opening. I guess a haunted bed and breakfast with hidden treasures is all the rage these days, even if there are no such things as ghosts. Uh, I think. See you soon, Nancy.